Okay. Namaste, Acharya ji. I have a two-part question. Uh, I understood that from the verse 222, we are talking about ego and 223, we are talking about Atma. So my first question is, is ego universal and can it be explained similar to Atma's example of ocean that was given earlier in some sessions? Or um, is it like, and what does 222 mean? Like when ego is moving from one body to another body, is it like an ego from a single person when it's dead moves to some other person? Or is it some, or, or is it ego is universal? The tendency of ego is universal. That's my first question. The, the universe is to the ego. So what do you mean by the ego is universal? There is no universe but to the ego. The universe is the object to the eternal subject called the ego. It is only to the ego that the universe exists. Okay, so when we talk about um, ego moving from one body to another body, how can we relate that? It basically means that experience? body is changed. That does not mean that the ego is hopping from this place to that place. It simply means that bodies keep changing. Bodies keep changing. And particular constitutions of bodies. Say I. You could even proceed to say as we said. That even a molecule does say I. Bodies keep changing and all bodies are to the ego. The ego associates itself with certain bodies. You could say it associates itself with everything. Depending on the body, the ego is right now in association with the sentence I am X is completed. Okay, I'll elaborate. What is Prakriti? What is Prakriti? Prakriti is a duality. The universe that we call it is a duality. It's a duality. Okay. What does duality mean? On This is just a model, but a helpful model would help you understand. So, the truth has been talked of as nothingness. Huh? It is nothing. Or it has been talked of as a bindu, point. The word bindu denotes the truth. And a bindu has no spatial existence. It really does not exist. If you, if you say a point exists, that doesn't mean anything. For something to exist, it must have some, some, it must occupy some space or say something. Huh? So the truth is binduvat, point like, non existent. And from it, hmm? and now from here begins Maya, because the truth really does not change forms or do anything. But to us, there is so much. So from here, we begin, Maya begins. What happens in the sway of Maya? There is duality. What kind of duality? There is this point and the rest of the universe. This point is the 
मदर आई टेंडेंसी अहम वृत्ति आई एम एंड देन देर आर दीज दीज इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ बॉडीज दैट टूगेदर कंप्राइज द ऑब्जेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट कॉल द यूनिवर्स सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट डिविजन दैट इज द फर्स्ट डुएलिटी दैट स्प्रिंग्स फ्रॉम नॉन डुएलिटी वॉट वॉज द नेम ऑफ द नॉन डुएलिटी बिंदु और आत्मा और दैट विच रियली डज नॉट स्पेशियली एग्जिस्ट सो फ्रॉम दैट कम्स दिस एंड दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज वन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज वन ऑब्जेक्ट टू दिस वन सब्जेक्ट वन सब्जेक्ट वन ऑब्जेक्ट वन ऑब्जेक्ट इज द इज द सुपर सेट ऑफ एवरीथिंग हियर नाउ विद इन दिस यूनिवर्स देर आर दीज इनफाइनाइट पार्टिकल्स ठीक है दिस थिंग दैट थिंग दैट थिंग सो when the ego tendency combines with this this the universe that itself itself has projected when it combines with this it says i am a combines with this says i am b with this i am c with this i am d with this i am e hmm? so this is what shri krishna means this arises and this combines because this is eternally present and here it's a stream in which objects are appearing and disappearing rising and falling forming and deforming the moment something forms this attaches to that and says i am f even deformation is attached to don't we say i am dead who oh, i am dead look at the construction i am dead even deformation is something that we attach to or i am absent i am absent or i am gone hmm? coming is an object going is also an object hmm? so this eternal i am no no the stream is flowing here things are coming and going rising and falling then this is constantly there i am it is in the field of objects of i am that everything is rising and falling rising and falling now something rises it is present already present to attach to it and say i am h hmm? now that thing is gone something else rises here it is already present to say i am t hmm? this is this is the this is the broad model so ego is going to be present come what may the ego is, is the present. eternal presence in the field of space and time the ego is the eternal presence the ego tendency that is the ego tendency there will be no place no time when the ego tendency itself is gone it is possible that right now the object that is that it attaches itself to does not say i am somebody in the way we know it but the tendency will always be there to give you an example there is nuclear annihilation let's say and everything is flattened everything is absolutely flattened right no species at all remain on this earth anymore nothing remains ne there exists now nobody to say i am or i am mohan i am daniel i am i am radha nobody exists to say this way still the ego tendency will remain everything is gone even the last bacteria and the last virus have disappeared under the nuclear influence everything is gone still the ego tendency will remain think of the time when there were no organisms on this planet or anywhere in the universe where did they come from the ego tendency was always there the ego tendency was always there it is there in the particle itself it is there in the material itself hmm? everything in the universe carries the ego tendency Okay. So, sir, for example, let's say take a stone. I am saying it is a stone. Stone doesn't know it is a stone. So, is it that 
with respect to me there is an ego tendency for the stone like i am saying it is a stone but for the stone there is no ego tendency you too were a stone see how today you say i am varsha let's say your name is varsha let's say were we not all stones once how did we assume what we call as life where did this life come from there is no god that injected life into the stone the stone itself took on life the stone had always had the ego tendency therefore given the right time the opportune circumstances the stone became varsha Yeah, because even I was an embryo at, in the beginning. In the beginning, and before the embryo, what were we? Just material, just material. How does life get into a fetus? It never gets into a fetus. It was always there. Every sand particle, in that sense, is waiting to come alive. That's what we are calling as the ego tendency. Understood. Yeah. my second question was related to truth being nothing but while explaining you already mentioned that truth is nothingness so my question is clear welcome thank you so much acharya ji uh, my question is uh, what i understand life is uh, uh, it is uh, experiencing things around you and then uh, understanding the futility of it and then moving towards liberation as a part of moving towards liberation uh, from one of your analogy uh, examples what you provided that uh, a person ca can be somewhere on the xy coordinate say 1000 comma 1000 x and y and when he starts his journey towards liberation uh, maybe he moves to uh, somewhere really uh, 950 comma 950 uh, by uh, from his readings maybe i take example of yoga yoga sutras by patanjali over here Uh, if the seeker follows yam niyam and has progressed to a 950 comma 950 and uh, if uh, if the if unfortunately the seeker's journey ends in death uh, is his journey towards liberation uh, incomplete or uh, or is there something like zero zero that the seeker uh, journey is only complete when he uh, goes to zero zero uh, the origin it's it's not about uh, x and y it's about dx by dt and dy by dt you're talking of coordinates it's not about the coordinates it's about the velocity the direction and the speed you have to keep moving you have to keep moving you might never actually reach 0 0 love is about movement in the face of adversity and love towards liberation zero zero is something that is just like a pole star dhruv tara a guiding light huh? the horizon you might never actually reach it liberation lies in the movement not in the achievement Thousand nine fifty, they all mean nothing. Hmm? It has to be a blind, heartful tumble. Hmm? One is one is tumbling towards his dissolution in a blind way, in a way that intellect can never comprehend. one cannot calculate so precisely right from 1000 i have come to 950 and i have burnt 3 liters of petrol so that's even the mileage is nice you see and i have done record time so i'm doing well and how do i compare with the others well i stand at the 96 percentile not too bad that's not the way of the lover <laughs> huh
singing uh, and music and melody that's why i have so much importance in 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 spirituality there are certain things that are so difficult to express in prose hmm? that that madness hmm? it's not uh, mathematical though you must begin with mathematics hmm? but then very soon something beyond mathematics takes over you forget your calculations 1950 0 x y all the models all the all the intelligent things like this one you know so 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 smart so nice he made a sleek model of everything subject object entire universe including the self and all this is as they say blowing with the wind blowing in the wind Yes. Thanks. Thanks, Ajay. Thank you.